idea and just looking for a cement to mop the baloney here. Oh, oh, you wicked, wicked monkey, you. Oh, oh hello, dear. How are you? How lovely. People are storming in here. You can get very anxious. We got some movie uh, costumes here. This runs from uh, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Gary Oldman's Dracula armor, and we got, if I can make this crowd of people, we got, we got the Mars Attacks, Autopsy Body, Ryan Gosling's Gemini spacesuit from First Man. Vintage 15th century armor. And a vintage Apollo spacesuit. Oh, and a and a costume from Stranger Things. And an uh Armored. There's too much light on this damn camera. Armored spacesuit from Serenity. We got the ghost bus. Car from 2016 reboot. It's the girl version too, Russ. Sorry. <laughs> oh, on the way, on the way. I'm working as I saw the bus that was in the morning. I love you, man. Thank you. It's a Future Part 2, Marty McFly hat, 2015. <laughs> I am not sure what this is. Some magic thing. Mystic Museum. Sort of a tribute to the old magic shows. And here we've got a recollection of the classic video store. Boy, does this bring back some memories. With all the videos we got here. This is a slat by Slashback video. I think they are based uh, out here in California. Yeah, this definitely brings me down memory lane here. In line for Austin St. John's autograph and waiting about 30 minutes. Also got the other Rangers here. met Bela Lugosi's son and uh, great-grandchildren and it was kind of interesting because I was talking to his great-grandson uh, or great or great-great-grandson about the Spanish version of Dracula because apparently he's never really uh, seen it. I'm, I'm not sure if he said he hadn't heard of it, but we started talking about it and I told him that uh, James Rolfe 
formerly the angry video game nerd, got uh, got me into those things. Uh, the Universal monster movies and the Hammer series, and I told them about how rare, how rare the um, Spanish version is, because it's only available in exclusive box sets. Would you like free t-shirts, free products, books? But yeah, it was, I talked to them about that, I told them more about uh, James Rolfe and the, the angry video game nerd. Yeah, it was quite a humbling experience, Be, talking to him and meeting his, uh, his great grandchildren, uh, but his, uh, uh, his son was a bit, well, I mean, he's old, old, so he was a bit kind of out of it, but it was still pretty humbling meeting him. Yeah. Am I still recording? Oh, crap. Ooh, look at this. Look at the smoke rising here. What's the other one? Oh, we got... This is an eye catcher rocket raccoon. Let's zoom in here. Here's some cool painting, go body painting going on. Dun 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 Oh no! No! Dun 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 Join the con? But why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, it's a camera. Do you like Comic Cons? No comment. You just don't like to talk, do you? You just not like talking? Are you shy? What do you like on dates? I mean, you just like don't like, do you just like not talk when you're on dates at all? Wow. You just like, you just might, you must not be popular with the ladies. You just, oh no, I can see it. No. Oh my God. They must be, when the ladies meet you, they must be like, over my dead body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Got the awesome mix right here. We got some Robotech collectibles here. My brother is used to collect and build uh, Gundams. I never got into them. There's I think model, I always found model building to be kind of a pain in the ass because the models were so fragile and you, you put all this work into them and they just, they can break real easily. But yeah, they kind of grew out of it real quick, like after a year. And yeah, I, I just never got too into it. Hot topic over here, this lady's trying to walk by me for a trash can. Yeah, this is all the exclusive pops, I'm not sure how much how much these pops are, but my budget's pretty tight this year, but a lot of these are exclusives, and I sadly missed a Stan Lee exclusive pop last year, and I had to have my mother-in-law get me one from Walmart, and I absolutely hate Walmart, but I, but for Stan Lee, I made an exception, but that's the only exception I'll ever, I'll ever make, for Walmart, that is. We got some cool robots right here. Wow, I like this guy right here. Here's the main stage, and last year the main stage was uh, actually over this way where the autographs were, where I just met uh, met the Power Rangers again. And here's the main stage this year, and oh my god, I mean, last year this con was just a dream come true experiment experience. I mean, I saw. Uh, Kevin Smith on the stage, I saw the Powerpuff Girls, Melissa Joan Hart, Scott Bakula, Kevin Smith, and, oh my, and the frickin' Rock came out on that stage last year. I mean, it was crazy. And I, and I saw Stan Lee, of course, and that was, 
no, one of, that's probably the last time I'll ever see Stan Lee. I, I hate to sound morbid, but that's the truth. What's seemingly becoming forgotten at some cons, but, but not at LA Comic Con, actual comics. And I haven't bought any comics yet, so I, I need to at some point. I mean, my cash has just been disappearing so quickly from the autographs. Ooh, they got female four. I think I'm gonna have to, hold on, let me zoom in. I think I'm gonna have to get me some of these. Yeah, I'm not sure, I, I haven't counted my cash yet. I didn't want to carry too much cash with me, because this is LA. But yeah, I think I gotta buy some comics here at some point. Where's the bat? And where's the bat? <laughs> I don't know where the bat is. But if I see him around, I'll tell ya. Oh, these girls mean business. They want to mess Batman up. So many comics. Oh my god! There's even more comics in here. A lot of these are pretty cheap actually. Well, some go for decent prices. These aren't bad. $500 comic. Oh my god! Yeah, that guy's looking at me. He's like, this guy wants me to buy the $500 comic right here. I really do. Yeah. He's serious about it. Ah! Oh my god! It's the Hulkbuster Iron Man. Back again this year, Tommy Wiseau. Uh, I'm trying to get a shot here. He's got a lot of interesting merch here. There's one I can get a shot of. What do you think? People getting in my way. Here's room DVDs. Tommy Wiseau underwear. Yeah, let me get a closer shot of this. $800, $1,000, $1,500 comics. $500. Oh my god, these are expensive comics. And this guy, like the last guy, wants me to buy them. Yeah. $5. <laughs> the prices just keep getting bigger. Oh my god. <laughs> Three thousand five hundred. Oh Lord! First issue, Battle Angel for two hundred bucks, and yeah, that that's one of my favorite uh, uh, manga series, and that that had a huge influence on my writing and my style. I got some other good ones here. Yeah, that one's about a hundred and twenty. You get the focus, but that one's about 120. Oh, we got more for 500. Why am I so blurry? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry. Yeah, we got more for 500 here. Yeah, a lot of expensive stuff. And I just. Sorry. And I just bought two comics for two bucks. What a deal. I can never afford this high end stuff. Like, this is all for the high-end collectors right here. Yeah, as you can see, this is all stuff I can just never afford.
there's the Joker, looking mean. And that guy does not want to be in the shot. And I don't blame him, look how scary the Joker looks. He is just, he looks angry, and he looks like he wants revenge on the bat. Yeah, don't mess with the Joker. Exploitation cinema movies, including Hobgoblins. Now that's a trash classic. Yeah, it's Spawn, Lego Spawn, oh my god. Ever wants a picture of Lego Spawn? So, so you gotta realize that in success, things are gonna happen. Right. But it's what you do when you bounce back. Right. You know, what you, what, what you do that you don't have nothing to prove with you. And that's what I love about these characters and being a superhero. Everybody can be a superhero, but now we know nobody's as perfect. But you gotta know right from wrong. So I, I feel like with my family, we have to teach that to our kids too. As parents, stop being these kids' friends and start being a parent. And that's been my biggest success, being a parent to my kids. Well, we have to okay, to answer, wait, answer that question again too. Um, you said, how did I stay out of trouble? Once again, have you ever seen me and Batman in the same room? <laughs> Maybe a superhero, that's all oh, I'm saying. Oh, God. Oh, God. We have to wrap up. I have one more question for you guys. Um, five years, ten years from now, where do you want to see Vim Comics? Vim Comics, we want to be at the top of our game. And it's just about growing. In the next five years, whatever it takes, we have the Ozbeska movie coming out now. This guy um, sounds like Kanye West. We try to have everybody. Here we got BB-8. We got a Steve Rogers here. Wow. That recording. <laughs> Got some artwork kind of just chilling on the floor here. Got the sweet shirt for only 10 bucks. They got shirts over there for 10 bucks a, 10 bucks a piece. I was, just, I was just showing off my shirt to the camera. Right, but you do know that I'm not a display table, right? And they got Flex Comics here. I guess it's for apparel for comic nerds who are also fitness enthusiasts as well. Check out all these. We got Chucky, we got Reagan, we got Jason. And we got Kong. Alex. That's his name? In the movie, yeah. I know the actor's name.
y'all energy. When somebody say they city, imagine feeling that love. He's from LA. LA make noise. Yeah. What's your question? Who's it for? Uh, my question for Austin. Was there ever a time you wanted to stab Tommy for taking over leadership? Stab him? No. <laughs> What's funny is he's been telling the world he's number one. You guys made him number one, and what he didn't tell you is he got promoted because he knew I was leaving the show. Oh. That's how it is. genetic gene. I, I didn't have that gene. You just stay in the air for 20 minutes? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we did a, a lot of, uh, we, we didn't do a lot of, we didn't do all the stunts in the suits, but we did a lot of uh, things in the suits. Uh, most of our fighting, most of my fighting was done out of the suit. Yeah, I had to, got my hip hop keyed on, you know what I'm saying? So. Yes. That's solid. Thank you for your question. Uh, we, I just actually got word that we have a, a super fan, a super fan of yours named Liz. Liz? Liz is here? Oh my god, super fan. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Liz is here! Oh my gosh! 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 This is a comic series called Golden Ass. Golden A S S. So how's your sales going? Adequate. I have like a number in my head. We've got E.T. up here. One of my favorite movies of all time. Probably my one of my it's probably my second favorite movie. Along with uh, Ghostbusters. We got some Pokemon uh, plushes over here. Uh, uh, stuffies. I was never a big Pokemon fan uh, myself. I was like in sixth grade when it came out. I was, I think I was slightly too old for it. But it's become very nostalgically popular these days. And it makes me feel kind of old. We got some lightsabers over here. I think I'm gonna give one of these a try myself. Show off my crazy sword skills. Check out that makeup. Wow, this is from uh, Cinema Makeup School in 
Wow, that just looks so real. Let's get a close up here. I don't know if she wants to be filmed. Wow. That is just crazy makeup right there. Wow. We got some fries right here. We got some pineapples. Ugh, I hate pineapples. But I love pizza. Yeah. Oh, we got donuts. We got burgers. Ooh, even tacos. Ooh, and Chinese takeout. Oh, and bananas down here. I think those, oh, I think those are bigger tacos down there. Nice, nice. And this is by a company called Yummy World. Oh, we even got some cheese puffs over here. Oh, and here's another thing of french fries. These kind of look like emojis. I thought these were like emoji plushes at first. Kind of similar, kind of similar. Ooh, we got some graphic gore right here. Ooh, check out these, uh, paintings right here. Wow. Karen Ashley would love this one. It's also the Pink Ranger right here. We got the Red Ranger. Are these, uh... Prints. Oh, they're not actual paintings? That's, not, that's how good it is, right? You thought it was. Oh, nice. Nice. Dante's Inferno Room. Air conditioned? That sounds a bit odd. I think I'm gonna get a quick photo. Throw it away! Look here! One, two, three! Fantastic. Oh, we got some horror shirts in here. Saint is happy with my progress. Yeah, I don't think these are my wife's style, really. We're here at the Troma booth at uh, Los Angeles uh, Comic Con. I'm Mel Brooks, but we, we have just finished making a movie in Tromaville. Uh, Ashley and Lucas, uh, my son Lucas. Uh, what? Uh, tell us a bit about the movie. What was the name of the movie? Well, the name of the movie was Shakespeare's Shitstorm. It's our version of The Tempest. It um, was written by Brandon Bassam, who, did, who uh, wrote uh, Fear Town USA and the Slashing. And um, Lloyd is actually in it as multiple characters. And, you know, it's coming out and, uh, soon. And speaking of multiple characters, if I'm not mistaken, Ariel has uh, multiple sclerosis in the movie. Yeah. Muscular. Oh no, mu muscular. Sorry. That didn't work. But uh, now you know the entire story of Shakespeare's Shakespeare. Lucas, what, uh, what have you been up to this year? Uh, well, I just saw the Toxic Avenger walking around a little bit ago. The Toxic Avenger was here? Yeah, yeah. I don't know uh, where he went, though. Well, get closer, actually. So you're like, uh, that's amazing. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, you were at Barnes & Noble last night. So what oh, went yeah. on at Barnes & Noble last night? Uh, well, me. there was a, a book signing yesterday at Barnes & Noble. It wasn't very well advertised, but it was still fun. What was the book? I love books. It was, uh... Ashley, Ashley reads a lot. Yeah, I do. You read the book? It's a, uh, it's a, that's that's a, a, but I'd love it's to. It's a coffee table book of, of trauma art. So, you the, need the art pictures. of trauma. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, The Art of Trauma by Dan McCullough. Nice, nice. Very cool. And it's beautifully, uh, yeah. right? The yeah. printing is magnificent. There's a deluxe edition of the part of Troma. But I think, uh, unless you have any final statements... Uh, well, um, for anyone at LA Comic Con, tomorrow, Sunday, we are screening Gold Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Return to Newcomb High. Uh, room 411 at 1 o'clock. 411? Room 411 is? Yeah. 
Just like information, that's easy. When you dial the information. 411. Yep. yep. Now what's this? I found this on the table. What oh, is this? Uh, this is actually a coupon for a kid split. It's an Airbnb for film equipment. They got a place in LA and possibly Atlanta as well. Uh, but yeah, you can rent your equipment out to them and you can also rent from them as well. Uh, we've got a ton of great stuff there and uh, we actually use kid split to film Shake Your Shit Square. So yeah, their equipment is insanely amazing. It's, it's great. Okay. Do they have insurance? They do actually have insurance. Uh, you can get instant insurance 40% um, cheaper than Damn good. Nice. Well, kid split. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, not all. Right, I think we're done. Hey, Michael. 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 Yeah. His laws, we have no excuse, my friend. God has given us his righteous standards. He has given us to know what is right from wrong. He says homosexuals will not inherit God's kingdom. No fornicators, no adulterers will inherit God's kingdom. So we are out here to plead with you today to turn from these evil ways. Make your hate away from the con. Turn from these evil ways, my no friend. You don't have to take our word for it. We are not out here to preach ourselves. We're not here. We're not out here to declare ourselves. We are out here to declare Jesus Christ and Him crucified and risen from the dead. Oh Go and away. His law and His word. Go away. In, the, in 1 Corinthians chapter. This. Riddle me that. Who's afraid? I don't think you guys are. I don't think she is. She's got the whip. And you've got literally a lightsaber. Question mark. Here are some uh, famous sci-fi cars. We got the DeLorean and the Ecto-1. Cars from... Look at all these people. It's been getting busier. Wow. Here we go, count of three, ready? One, 
He's better than Jason. Two. More Damon, less athletic. And.